Greetings, my name is Marc Vallon. I teach bassoon at the UW Medicine School of Music, the Midwinter School of Music. I'm standing right now in our new rehearsal space, uh, which is part of our new building that got um, inaugurated in the fall of 2019. And you can see a little of the city of Madison behind me. I think it's a wonderful idea to have uh, you know, music visible from, um, from the street and people walking, walking by. So, but that's not what I want to talk about today. I want to talk about something else that's very, very, I think, interesting and uh, over, overlooked, I think. It's what happens when we take air, when we inhale air, in order, of course, to uh, produce some sound on our sound. So uh, we often think about our air, like what's what's happening in the lungs and what you know all the complex mechanics uh, involved in that. But there's something we don't always think about is what happens when we actually take air. Um, I think there are two basic ways that I'm uh, trying to describe for for you now. Um, which we, the first one is the German, let's call it the German way. The German way is when you lip, when you read, stays attached to the top lip. So something like this. The French way is the other way, is when the read stays sort of lying on your lower lip and there's this little movement like this to get the air in. That's like this. These are two very good ways because they're quick and, and efficient. Is there another way? I think there's another way. And I would call this the, the open way, the open flow way. And the idea is to have the reed not touching any of your lips when you take air. What are the benefits of this? First, you get a lot more air into your lungs. Uh, so it seems like it's a done deal and it should be really easy. So it looks a little like this. You might notice that I get a little more sound right away. Let me do this again. So, let me recap. German way. French way. The open way. So why, I mean, it's logical. Why touch, the, why touch the lip, one of the lips with a reed when we play? Because we need that feeling of security when we have this really crucial attack and, and first tone production. So we want to feel secure having the reed. So we're ready to go. But it's very easy to get rid of this habit and have still a secure attack while not having the reed touching any of the lips initially. You delay the moment where the reed is in contact with the lips in order to get really faster and better air. Opposed to oh. Try this. It's a little unsettling at the beginning. It feels weird and uncomfortable. But after a while, after maybe a couple of weeks of trying this, incorporate this into your technique, into your practice, you'll find that actually you gain a lot of core of sound, a higher, uh, easier high register, and a little, a little more substance to your sound. And what you do also, you get your embouchure, a very small amount of relief, which is always important. Try this. I hope you enjoy it. Thanks for watching.